Dear friends, welcome to another episode of Today in the Military World. In this video, we will talk about the Israeli government's reaction to the complete lack of Russian support and how the Israelis intend to respond to this in Ukraine. After the brutal and terrible terrorist attacks by Hamas Palestinians on October 7th, which left a tragic toll of more than 1,400 civilians dead, thousands injured, and 200 kidnapped by Israel, claiming its right to self-defense, began a massive aerial bombing campaign against Hamas targets in the Gaza Strip. The problem for both Israel and the Palestinian civilian population is that Hamas, as terrorists, use Palestinians as human shields, hiding in residential buildings, mosques, and hospitals. And in fact, a significant part of Hamas's arsenal of weapons and ammunition is stored precisely in hospitals. Hamas's terrorist tactic of hiding behind innocent civilians has resulted in large casualties among civilians Palestinians, with many of these civilians dying because they were forced by terrorists to remain in operational facilities. From the group, this has generated everything that Palestinian terrorists most wanted a great international popular commotion in the face of the death of civilians, leading organizations and countries to condemn the Israeli response. As was the case with Vladimir Putin's Russia, Russia's position has become quite explicit when the Russian delegation to the UN Security Council presented the draft of a resolution that, in addition to not condemning the terrible attacks by Hamas terrorists on October 7th, still demanded that the UN present an official motion of censure against Israel for the attacks in the Gaza Strip. In other words, Russia, in addition to not condemning the terrorists who killed civilians, also asked that Israel be censured at the UN. More than two weeks have passed since the terrible terrorist attacks by Hamas in Israel, but so far, Putin has refused to condemn that terrorist group, insisting only on demanding that Israel immediately stops the attacks. As it is quite obvious, this stance from Russia, which once again emphasizes that it did not even condemn Hamas for the terrorist attack, is deeply displeasing Israel, leading Air White Men, one of the leaders of Lud, the largest Israeli party, to say in a TV interview that Russia is supporting Israel's enemies, and that is why Israel, after winning the war against Hamas, will make Russia pay a very high price for this. Amir explained that Israeli revenge will come in the form of strong and forceful military support for Ukraine in its defense against the Russian invasion. Despite Israel having made it clear that it condemns the Russian invasion of Ukraine, material support to Ukraine has been very discreet, limited to some humanitarian aid and a few defense systems, such as artillery radars. But the Israeli weapons that make a difference, like their drones, anti-tank missiles, and especially the impressive Israeli anti-aircraft defences have so far not been handed over to the Ukrainians. The reason for this is Syria, where about 10 years ago, Iran began to finance training and arming terrorist groups in Syria with the sole purpose of attacking Israel from the Syrian border. Israel, knowing this, has been attacking Iranian bases and warehouses in Syria in an attempt to destroy all weapons and ammunition sent by Iran. However, Assad's Syria is a great ally of Putin's Russia, which, since 2015, has maintained a military force of almost 4,000 Russian soldiers in Syria who fight against groups trying to overthrow Assad from power. Despite this strong alliance, Putin allows Israel to attack Syria as long as these attacks specifically target Iranian targets. This unofficial agreement could change if Russia decides to close Syrian airspace, including for Israeli planes. In light of Vladimir Putin's recent position, which includes not condemning the Hamas terrorist attack and demanding a UN motion of repudiation against Israel, Israel may reconsider its stance regarding support for Ukraine. Russia is currently weaker in Syria, as a significant portion of its air defences have been sent to Ukraine. This might indicate that Israel will provide stronger support to Ukrainian defence with advanced and modern Israeli weapons.